Greetings children. Welcome to the e-learning class of 8th standard. Children, we are discussing about the practical geometry. We are dividing this chapter into three periods and this is the first session children. It is in the page number 105 to 116 in your 8th standard mathematics first part children. Now, as it is saying practical geometry, here we are going to discuss the practical aspects of the geometry children. Now, just recall what you learnt in your previous classes children. Elements of a triangle, you all know triangle, triangle is a planar figure which is formed by, yes come on, three sides, three angles and three vertices. Now, what are the elements of the triangle? Observe here children, this is a triangle. It has three vertices that is A, B and C. Correct. Observe, these are the vertices of the triangle. We are denoting it as A, B and C. And again, it has three sides. Which are the three sides? Yes, A, B, right. Then B, C, correct. Then A, C. Yes, triangle has three sides and it has three vertices and one more element that is angle observe here children it has three angles angle abc or angle b and again angle cab or angle a yes angle acb or angle c we are representing by the names angle abc angle cab and angle acb or it can be denoted by angle b angle a and angle c in the same way children construct a triangle when the measurement of three sides are given if is it possible for you to construct a triangle when three sides are given children observe observe this video carefully three sides are given a b right we have to join these AB points. Again, let us assume it as A centimeter. Now, I am taking the same length. Drawing an arc from point B and now cutting the same arc from point A. Now identify the intersecting points that is intersecting point we are identifying it as C. Now join B and C, A and C. Yes, it is possible to construct a triangle when three sides are given. Right children, it is possible to construct a triangle when three sides are given. Now, construction of a triangle when the measurement of two sides and one angle is given. Let us see. Here they are giving only two sides and one angle. Let us see here. Observe this video carefully. They have given two sides. First we are marking A and B. Join AB, this is one side they have given. And they have given one angle also. Let us assume it may be 45 degree. Now, measure angle 45 from angle A. It is 45, yes, right. Now, cut that line with the suitable measurement what they have given ang side AC they have given the side AC so that I am joining again AC now we identified the point C let us join B and C this is how even if, if we know the measurement of two sides and one angle then also it is possible to construct a triangle children then Necessary elements required for the construction of a triangle? 
yes measurement of three sides or measurement of two sides and one angle or measurement of two angles and one side totally we require any three elements observe here children we require any three elements for the construction of a triangle construction of a triangle is not possible when the measurement of three angles is given they have not given any sides the measurement of any side then it is not possible to construct any triangle children it is possible only when two sides and one angle or three sides or one side and two angles are given when three angles are given it is not possible to construct a triangle children now in the same way let us take one more planar figure that is quadrilateral you all know what is quadrilateral quadrilateral means it has four sides let us see yes observe here a b c d is a quadrilateral and it is a rectangle here a b c d is a rectangle here it is a quadrilateral it has how many vertices yes it has four vertices that is a b c and d correct these are the vertices we are denoting vertices with capital letter of english alphabet children now it has four sides as observe here children which are the four sides yes a b is one side again b c is another side again C D is one more side. Again, A D is another side, and it has four sides. Quadrilateral means it has four sides. And again, angles. How many angles it has? It has four angles. Observe angle A, angle B. Right. Again, angle C and angle D. Since it is a rectangle, all the four angles are ninety degree. only and one more point diagonals diagonal means the line joining opposite vertices of a quadrilateral observe here ac ac is a diagonal in the same way one more di diagonal bd correct bd is one more diagonal totally it has two diagonals any quadrilateral is having two diagonal children now let us do one activity children we know three elements required for construction of a triangle for the construction of a quadrilateral only four elements are enough let us check let us construct a rectangle which has two opposite sides are equal and all angles are 90 degree for this i am taking broomstick or straw pipes and cycle wall tube or insulation tapes I am attaching the sides of a rectangle with the help of cycle wall tube. Let me check whether I got the required rectangle or not. Yes. Now I will move one of the side of a rectangle. Now you can see that my rectangle is no more a rectangle, but it is a parallelogram. to get the required rectangle i need more element here in parallelogram opposite sides are equal but all angles are not 90 degree or right angle hence to get the required rectangle i am fixing the diagonal that connects the opposite vertex of the rectangle now let me move the sides of a rectangle no it is not changing its shape Yes you can observe that my rectangle is not changing hence with this simple activity we came to know that to construct a quadrilateral we need minimum five elements Have you completed the activity children right now any three measurement is required to construct a triangle three measurements are required to construct a triangle other than three angles are given other than three angles any three measurements which means one side two angles two sides one angle and three sides when these are given we can construct a triangle now any three measurements are required to construct a triangle then any four measurements are enough to construct a quadrilateral yes three sides are given for a triangle 
when three elements are given for a triangle, is it possible for us to construct a quadrilateral when four elements are given or four measurements are given? Let us do this activity, children. Observe here. They have given four sides. That is, yes, since it is a rectangle, CD is 10 centimeter, DB is 8 centimeter, AB is 10 centimeter, AC is 8 centimeter. Is it possible for you to construct a quadrilateral here? Yes, we have already constructed, na? But observe here, children. When we move any one of the vertices, observe here, I am moving the vertices C. Yes, it is bending, but is it is no, it is no more a rectangle. Isn't it? Yes, even though sides are not changing, the values of sides are not changing, but it is not a rectangle here. But it should not like this. Any planar figure should not move like this. Then it is not possible for us to construct a quadrilateral when any four measurements are given. Observe here, they have given five measurements. That is, AB is 10 centimeter, BF is 8 centimeter, DF is 10 centimeter, AD is 8 centimeter, and again BD is 12.81 centimeter. They have given here, they have given five measurements, children. Observe, is it possible for us to move? Observe here. No, it is not moving like previous one. Now it is a proper quadrilateral. It is not changing its shape. Right. Then what are you going to conclude here children? What we are going to conclude here? We are going to conclude that we observe that five measurements can determine a quadrilateral uniquely, which means we have to construct a quadrilateral uniquely, then we require any five measurements. Observe here, constructing a quadrilateral. We shall learn how to construct a quadrilateral given when the following measurements are given. Observe, when four sides and one diagonal is given, we already know that four sides and one diagonal is given. And again, when two diagonals and three sides are given, two diagonals they have given and three sides are also given or when two adjacent sides and three angles are given they have given two adjacent sides and three angles let us see that one and again when three sides and two included angles are given three sides and two included angles are given is it possible for us to construct a quadrilateral let us observe this when other special properties are known this is what we are going to learn in this chapter children now let us consider first option when the length of four sides and a diagonal is given we shall explain this construction through an example example this is page number 137 is there construct a quadrilateral PQRS where PQ is 4 cm, QR is 6 cm, RS is 5 cm, PS is 5.5 cm, PR is 7 cm. They have given us to construct a quadrilateral PQRS where the lengths are given PQ is 4 cm, QR is 6 cm, RS is 5 cm, PS is 5.5 cm and PR is 7 cm. Let us observe this video carefully children. First, we have to draw a rough sketch to help the visualizing of a quadrilateral. Let us draw one rough sketch so that we can observe the shape of that quadrilateral. Observe here, this is what we are required to construct a quadrilateral here. We draw this first and mark these measurements children. Now first, here from the rough sketch, it is easy for us to construct that is triangle PQR. First, we have to construct a triangle. Triangle PQR can be constructed using SSS construction condition. Draw triangle PQR here, children. Right? I am identifying the point P and again I am identifying the point Q and joining PQ here. PQ is 7 centimeter. what they have given here, children. Now, they have given the lengths of the sides QR and PR. Now, 
by using that measurements i am drawing i am identifying a point r here children now i am joining p and r and q and r pq is 4 cm they have given and qr is how much yes 6 cm they have given now it is our duty to identify fourth point that is yes 5 cm away from r so that r as center keep 5 cm distance and draw an arc children yes now i am joining p and s again q and s where rs is 5 cm now this is what the required quadrilateral children p q r s is the required quadrilateral we have constructed here children they have given q s is 5 cm the length of q s is 5 cm so that it is possible for us to construct a quadrilateral children now is it possible for us to construct a parallelogram observe here they have given parallelogram b a t s such that b a is 5 cm a t is 6 cm a s is 5 cm they have given only three sides give reason observe here they have given three sides we have, they told us to construct a parallelogram here children yes b a they have given a t they have given a s they have given observe a rough sketch can help us by visualizing this quadrilateral first we have to draw a rough sketch this is what the rough sketch they have given a b 5 cm a t 6 cm a s 5 cm what about s t yes opposite sides are always equal in parallelogram s t is also 5 cm b s also 6 cm s t is 5 cm b s is 6 cm let us construct this quadrilateral children students according to the measurement given and the rough sketch first let us construct a side b a is equal to 5 cm for this i am marking b at 0 and a at 5 on the scale with the help of pencil here i am using sketch pen for better visualization instead of pencil you use pencil and scale children now join ba ba is 5 cm which i got now i got ba side to mark the point s yes, let us consider the length at because the side bs and at are opposite sides and opposite sides are always equal in a parallelogram so with the help of scale and pair of compass take 6 cm length by keeping one arm of the compass at 0 and another at 6 cm on the scale observe here children now draw an arc of radius 6 cm with center as point b now cut this arc with another arc of length equal to the length of the diagonal as that is 5 cm already we have drawn ba as 5 cm by taking the same measurement because as is also 5 cm cut the arc c by drawing one more arc with a as center i am marking the point of intersection as yes now join b and s a and s to draw two more sides that is at and st first we have to draw 5 cm arc with s as center already we have 5 cm measure in our pair of compass so i draw the arc now cut this arc drawn by drawing an arc with the radius at is equal to 6 cm with a as center
Now identify the intersection point and mark it as point T. Now join S and T and T respectively. This is what we got the required parallelogram BATS in which opposite sides are equal. Here BA is equal to 5 cm and ST is also 5 cm. BS and AT are 6 cm. AS diagonal 5 cm. Observe this carefully children. We have to draw arc towards right side of the point S to get the proper parallelogram. If you draw If you draw T point towards left of S point, you will get a wrong picture and you may mislead children. Let us do this construction one more time children. So that you can understand. First we have to construct a triangle. Then we have to construct a required quadrilateral. Hope you understand this children. Observe this again. Do the construction along with me also children. BA is 5 cm which I got. Now I got BA side. To mark the point S, let us consider the length AT because the side BS and AT are opposite sides and opposite sides are always equal in a parallelogram. So, with the help of scale and pair of compass, take 6 cm length by keeping one arm of the compass at 0 and another at 6 cm on the scale. Observe here children. Now, draw an arc of radius 6 cm with center as point B. Now, cut this arc with another arc of length equal to the length of the diagonal AS that is 5 cm. Already we have drawn BA as 5 cm by taking the same measurement because AS is also 5 cm. Cut the arc C by drawing one more arc with A as center. I am marking the point of intersection as S. Now join B and S, A and S. To draw two more sides that is AT and ST, first we have to draw 5 cm arc with S as center. Already we have 5 cm measure in our pair of compass. So I draw the arc. Now cut this arc drawn by drawing an arc with the radius AT is equal to 6 cm with A as center. Now identify the intersection point and mark it as point T. Now join S and T and T respectively. This is what we got the required parallelogram BATS in which opposite sides are equal. Now, let us see one more problem. The problem is like this. Z D is equal to 3.5 cm. Diagonal EL is equal to 5 cm. Is it possible for you to construct a rhombus Z E A L? 
If so, give reason. We know all sides are equal in a rhombus. It means all the four sides are equal. If we know the measurement of one side, then we may get the measurement of all sides. Here they have given diagonal also. Hence, totally they have given five measurements. Children recall, we know if five measurements are given, then we can construct a quadrilateral uniquely. Hence, we draw a raw figure here children. Observe, ZEAL is a rhombus. Here, ZE is equal to 3.5 cm. Hence, all sides are 3.5 cm only. Diagonal EL is equal to 5 cm. First, we have to construct ZEL triangle. It is an isosceles triangle. Then, keep E and L as center. Draw arcs of 3.5 cm. Identify the point A. We get EAL isosceles triangle also. Then we get ZEAL required rhombus children. Now I am showing the construction. Observe the construction carefully. You have to do this as I have done here children. Observe. EL is a line segment. It is diagonal. From E and S, draw arcs of length 3.5 cm. Identify the point Z which is intersecting point of these two arcs. Join EZ and ZL which means EZ is 3.5 cm. ZL is also 3.5 cm. Now we got EZL isosceles triangle. Again, by keeping E and L as centers, draw an arc of length 3.5 cm only. Identify the intersection point and mark it as point A. Join EA and AL. We got EAL isosceles triangle children. This is what the required rhombus, we got the rhombus that is ZEAL is the required rhombus. This construction is possible. So construct this rhombus children. Now, have you constructed the quadrilateral? Now let us take one home assignment children that is exercise number 7.1 page number 108. Do all these problems, solve this. If you have any doubts children, ask your subject teacher. Today's learning point. What we have learned today? We learned the elements of a triangle that is a triangle having three sides, three angles and three vertices. It is possible to construct a triangle when three sides or three elements are given. Those three elements may be three sides, the measurement of three sides or the measurement of two sides and one angle or the measurement of two angles and one side. It is not possible for us to construct a triangle when three angles are given. Okay, children. Now, again we learnt something. What is that? Construction of a quadrilateral when four sides and one diagonal is given. And we also learned that it is not possible to construct a quadrilateral when only four sides are given. That is the measurement of four sides is given. It is not possible for us to construct a quadrilateral children. Now, in our next class, what we are going to learn? We are going to learn a construction of a quadrilateral when two diagonals and three sides are given two diagonals and three sides. But in this class we learnt when four sides and one diagonal is given. Whereas in next class we learn two diagonals and three sides are given. Also we learn the construction of quadrilateral when two adjacent sides, when two adjacent sides and three angles are given. We are also going to learn these concepts children. Till then this is K.S. Girish, Assistant High School Teacher, Government High School, Jaligay, Devanalli Talok, Bangalore Rural District. Thank you children.